Hi guys, um, I just wanted to do a real quick video um, for you guys today because it's always easier for me to explain things by video. Um, and I know there's been a lot of announcements coming at you this week, but um, I didn't really want to leave this too long um, without addressing it. So basically, your directors and I had a conversation the other day about... Um, what to do or how to approach um, something we've been noticing happening with um, a lot of you. This isn't directed at any one or few people. It's happening um, quite a bit and not even just on our team. I'm seeing it happen um, a lot within Sensi and it's common in direct sales. So we just really wanted to talk about it. I know I've talked to you guys before about cross promotion and the risks with that, um, but I just want to reiterate again um, about that and the things to watch out for and be careful so that you can protect your Sensi business and not um, lose what you've worked hard for from from doing something that um, you didn't maybe realize was against the rules. So I want to go over that but I also want to talk to you about what's wise um, if you're really trying to grow a direct sales business. Um, so first the rules with with cross promoting so lots of people feel that they they think that they have a better chance if they join lots of companies um, so that they have lots of products to offer kinda like where we were going with the whole multi-brand opportunity in Sensi Family also there's that myth out there that um, you need to get in first and we've we've talked about that lots um, that that is a myth and there are many of I just found out um, in Greece I got to talk to some of the very first consultants and one of them was telling me she was number 92 and of those 92, there are still some that are certified consultants. Um, and she's got multiple superstar directors underneath her. So it is a myth. You don't need to be first. And even if you do get in first and do well, you need to be in a company that's going to do well. And so we are very blessed that Sensi has proven, um, they have a proven track record that they aren't going anywhere. They have grown rapidly and continuously and they keep doing things like they did yesterday with hard, tough decisions um, in order to um, make this business lasting and growing for us and our children and our grandchildren. Um, so anyway, regardless, the rules were made that you are perfectly welcome to join another direct sales brand. If you are a director or above um, and you join another direct sales brand, your downline has the right to request to be moved out from underneath you if they if you are part of another direct sales brand. Um, they don't even really have to prove at that point that you're not um, meeting their needs and leading them uh, because Sensi looks at it as a distraction by being a member of more than one company. So if they do make that request and you're a director, Sensi will give you the opportunity to quit the other company or the downline will be moved um, up to your sponsor. So that's if you're a director. However, if you are not a director and have no intention of becoming a director, just want to sell more than one uh, product and company, you need to be careful about how you market that because it is considered cross-promoting and it's considered, it's a big no-no covered, I guess, in the direct sales association's guidelines and ethics and, I mean, they're not really rules, but they're guidelines. And, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm still jet-lagged. Um that you don't promote another business to contacts that you have made through your other one. So one of our um, head office people, Chuck, put it perfectly one time and he said, if your relationship started because of Sensi, then it's cross-promoting if you advertise anything else to them. If your relationship was already in place and you share Sensi, that's different. Um, but if you met through Sensi, and you may be friends now, but if you primarily met through Sensi, and especially if you are only Facebook friends just because you are on the same fit Sensi team, but don't really have a relationship outside of that, um, it is not okay to, and it is considered cross promoting, to invite um, sales to um, add to groups, anything like that. Now, we've talked about it before that posting anything in our team page for other companies is not okay and that that's out of compliance because our team page is a place for us to talk Sensi. But what we've been noticing is people um, not necessarily selling another company but 
hosting parties and just inviting their entire friends list. And some of us feel like that is um, pressure and cross-promoting type spam to just be added to groups and invites and events um, for all these other products. And so we just want you guys to be aware um, to maybe just go through and select your actual friends so that you aren't making your sensey friends feel um, that uncomfort. Also, we wanted to talk to you guys about being aware that doing that, um, it's good to support your friends that have another direct sales business, and, and I certainly do. I don't host parties very often because I'm like the world's worst host. Um, but I also, I don't want to distract my friends from Sensi. And if I host a party for the next new company and then my friends all join that company, I've lost the opportunity to have given them a chance in direct sales through Sensi on my team. And so I've hurt my business. Um, so I choose to support my friends in direct sales by ordering from them and buying from them. And I just want you guys to consider that. It's not a rule. It's not anything I'm telling you you have to do. I just want you to consider that. If you are really trying to make this a business, um, then exposing all of your friends to other direct sales opportunities might not be um, very helpful to you growing your Sensi business. So I hope that this was understood better than me trying to type it out. Definitely post some questions. We can discuss this in the group. Um, because I know there's lots of gray areas, and I appreciate any ongoing respect and consideration of your fellow Sensi team members um, for not just openly uh, pushing other products on them. All right, have a great day, guys.